What's up you guys? Welcome back. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to be filming right now. You guys have obviously been seeing videos, but a lot of them were pre-filmed because I did get my wisdom teeth out and honestly it was very rough. Way rougher than I thought that it was ever going to be. I put up a vlog on my vlog channel yesterday of my experience, so if you want to check that out, I'll link it on the screen here. But the last two weeks have been pretty rough. I got them out like a little less than two weeks ago, like about 10 days now. And for a while my face was so swollen and I couldn't even really talk. So I wanted so badly to film, but I like physically could not because I couldn't really open my mouth to talk. I still do have some swelling and I still can't open my mouth as much as I fully should be able to, but I'm a lot better now and I felt comfortable enough to be able to film. So if it seems like I'm talking weird, I am still swollen and having some jaw lock issues, but I felt like I was good enough to film and I couldn't wait any longer. I missed you guys. And I was really excited because ColourPop just launched their Sailor Moon collection, which looked so, so, so cute. I'm hoping to get this up on Thursday. So hopefully you guys are going to be seeing this the day that this collection launches. I am filming it this morning, Thursday morning. Um, but this collection looks so, so cute. The colors and everything I was obsessed with. So I was like, okay, I really want to film with it. I want to do a first impressions. And I know a lot of you guys were really interested in this collection. So here I am to film for you guys. And actually speaking of ColourPop, I forgot. I put up a giveaway on my Instagram this morning. So at Kelly Strack Official, you guys can follow me over there and enter the giveaway because ColourPop and I are giving away three of my Everyday Essentials bundles with them to three of you guys. So basically all you have to do is follow me and ColourPop on Instagram and subscribe to my YouTube channel, which hopefully if you're here, you're already subscribed. So just head over to Instagram. The post and everything is on there. You guys will see, but we are giving away three of my bundles if you guys are interested in that. But without further ado, make sure you guys are subscribed to this channel if you are not already and click the little bell right next to the subscribe button so you can be notified of all my future uploads and let's get started. Alrighty, so first things first, we are going to jump into the palette. This looks so, so cute and it gave me such spring vibes. I was like, yes, I need this. Also love how the packaging is really, really cool. What is this called? I always forget like what um, these kind of things are called, but the blushes are like that too, like how they change when you move them. Yeah. So cool, but I'm like blanking on the name right now. I'm sure you guys in the comments will let me know, but I think that's really, really cool. It's different for ColourPop, different packaging, um, and I liked that. But this palette is absolutely beautiful. You guys know I don't dig into color that often, but even I was like, wow, okay, that palette's really, really pretty, and again, just gave me such spring vibes, which I'm so excited for. So we are, of course, gonna use this on our eyes today. We have two super, super beautiful blushes in this collection. Let me show you guys. One that has some glitter and then one that is matte. So we'll of course swatch both of them on either cheek. We have some little lip bundles, which I love this. So in the bundles, they did an ultra glossy lip with an ultra blotted lip. The ultra blotted lip is my favorite formula from ColourPop as far as their liquid lipsticks go. So you have a liquid lipstick color and then you also have a gloss color. So these were really, really pretty. And there are two body glitters as well, which we will swatch. So. I think I'm going to start with the palette and go in on my eyes with the palette. One thing I will say is that there is no um, mirror in this one. Sometimes ColourPop palettes have mirrors, sometimes they don't. So this one does not have a mirror, so I'm just going to grab like a different mirror that I have here. And we're going to start by going in with the shade Moon Castle. And also let me get pricing for you guys. I'm sure you all want to know the cost of everything, so let me get it up. Okay, so the eyeshadow palette is $20. Also, side note with my bundle, if you guys use code Kelly on my bundle, it'll get you 15% off of my bundle, which brings it down from $41 to like $34.85, but that code Kelly only works on the bundle, so it's not gonna work on other products from ColourPop. Like, the only thing it's gonna work on is the bundle itself. I don't have a code with them for like everything else. There are a lot of other YouTubers that do though, so if you search around, you can definitely find a coupon code for this collection, but my code Kelly will only work on the bundle it just it won't work on um, the other products but you should definitely be able to find like a 10% off code from somebody so we're gonna go in with moon castle and put this into the upper crease yes pigment okay love this because sometimes like with pastel colors like this pigment can totally lack and it can just be like dull and lackluster but this actually looks really nice so I'm gonna blend that in my crease. One thing I've always admired about ColourPop is, at least in my experience, I find their products to be very consistent. Some brands, it's like some palettes are amazing and other palettes are just like not good and it's like the consistency is so off where I feel like ColourPop consistently has pretty good products, especially at the price point. So that is definitely something that I do really admire about the brand is their consistency in products. It's not like sometimes they're really bad and sometimes they're really good, at least in my experience. So we're bringing this up pretty high because we are gonna go in with more like pinkies and purples and stuff but I want to have some kind of sort of transitional shade up there. I will say I'm getting a decent amount of fallout with this color though. Um, but again, because of the pigment, I'm not really that worried about it. But we'll keep an eye on that as we use some of the darker colors. But you can just brush it away like so. I am going to jump in with a little bit of this orangey color. This is Twilight Flash. I'm just going to buff that right in this part of the brow bone. Just to kind of tone down the pinkiness a little bit. 
this adds a little bit of a more like orangey neutral hue just all the way up on that upper brow bone area. And this palette does have a nice mix of both mattes and shimmers. And there is a pressed glitter too. Alrighty, up next we're gonna jump in with the shade Miracle Romance. This is more of a purpley shade, a little bit less like a peachy pink like the others. And we're gonna start to build out the crease with this. I'm gonna start up here. I've been trying to make my crease like a little bit higher to open up my eye, so that's really where I'm focusing this, like the top part of my crease. And honestly, when you're blending this on top of those pinkies, it definitely is coming off like a very pinky purple, which is really pretty, like I like that. So just opening up the eye and focusing this a little bit tighter on that upper crease area. And this is the darkest shade in the palette, so there's nothing like super, super deep and dark in here, so you're not gonna be able to create like a super, you know, smoky, smoldering kind of dark look with this, but that honestly doesn't bother me. I'm loving this. Maybe if I use spring colors like this, it'll bring the spring weather <laughs> to New Jersey because it has been so cold. It is so sunny today, so it like, it's almost like a tease. Like it looks like a summer day outside because it's just so, so sunny and you go outside and you realize that it's like 25 degrees and you're like, oh, perfect. If you can tell, winter is not my favorite season. <laughs> All these mattes are blending really, really nicely because so far we've only used mattes. We're about to go in with shimmers though after the shade. Um, but they're all blending and layering really nicely with each other. So no complaints there. Okay, up next we're going to jump in with the shade Love. This shade does have a little shimmer to it. I'm going to focus it. Oh my gosh, that's so pretty. It's like Barbie pink. I'm going to put this in the outer corner. Oh my gosh, I love it. Such Barbie vibes. That's so pretty. And it's so vibrant too, which I love. So I'm going to work that into this outer corner. And then I'm going to fade it into a tuxedo rose, which is this next kind of more corally shade. And we're going to pop that on in the center. Ooh, so neon. I love. This would also be great for like festival season and stuff, which honestly is coming up pretty soon because these colors are really, really vibrant. Like I feel like they apply, like they look more vibrant on the eye than they even do like in the palette. Like they almost look a little more subdued in the palette. And then on the eye, it's like full on vibrancy, which is really nice. And I am using these completely dry, like no fix plus or anything like that. So they are very vibrant on their own. I'm going to bring this just to about right there. So I still have that inner like one third of my eye because I want to go in with like a really glittery shade in there. Because the last two shades that I used have glitter in them. You know, they're like shimmers, but they're not like super, super glittery or anything like that. But I want to do a little pop in the inner corner. So in the inner corner, we're going to go in with Silver Crystal. It's a light shimmery shade, but it still definitely has like a pinky undertone. So for this one, since it's very glittery, I am going to spritz some Fix Plus. Just to help the glitter really adhere to the eye. And pop it. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. And just apply this to that inner one third as well as the inner corner. Because this shade is really glittery, like it's a lot glitter more glittery than the other, it is a little bit more difficult to blend in with the other shadows, but I'm just going to keep tapping and see what happens. <laughs> I do feel like the more you tap it in, the more seamless it kind of blends. It's just the other shades are like a completely different finish, so it does look a little different. So I think what I'm going to do is pop in with this shade right here. This is Mar Essentials. I just got a little on my finger. Um, and this is like a brown, but it has a lot of pink in it glitter. And I'm going to just go in with my finger and gently tap this on the center. Yes, okay, that actually looks really nice. And it helps to kind of fade the glitters together. It's actually a really pretty like golden glitter. I'm just going to tap that on the eye. And I'm just using a very little bit. Like I don't want to go in with too, too much of this glitter and like overpower it, but just help the different finishes to blend. Now the lower lash line, I'm going to mix together Love and Miracle Romance and just kind of buff that out down in there. You guys know I like barely ever use color, but I actually think this came out really pretty. And then I'm just going to pop in with Silver Millennium. This is their Super Shock formula, I believe. I'm just going to pack this beneath my brow bone and a tiny little bit in right in that inner corner just to really pop. This look is so out of my normal like neutral comfort zone, but I actually really like it and I really liked this palette. I think it worked really, really well. I am gonna pop on some lashes, so I'm gonna just do a very thin black line. This is just the Benefit Roller Liner before I pop the lashes on just to finish off the eye. I'm not gonna do a wing or anything because I feel like we got enough going on on these eyes now. <laughs> and for lashes, I'm just gonna do the Salon Perfect 614s, which are my favorites. And they're super affordable. You can get them at Walmart. So I'm gonna just go in and pop these on. While I let the lash glue dry, I'm going to go in with the Cream Gel Liner from ColourPop. You guys already know this is my favorite. In Shade Exit, it's the best waterline liner literally ever. And this is in my bundle. 
but it's like the most pigmented white I've ever found that actually stays in the waterline. All right, eyes are done. I love how it came out, but now we're gonna move on to the blushes, which looks so, so cute. So again, there are two blushes. So the first one is Cat's Eye, and this one has glitter in it. The other one is completely matte and is called From the Moon. It's also a little bit brighter. I'll put them next to each other. This one is a little more corally, almost gives me like NARS orgasm vibes, where this one is just like matte and bright. So I'm gonna go in with the one with a little more glitter first. Again, it's Cat's Eye, and I'll go in on my cheek. The um, blushes do have mirrors, which I feel like, I don't know, I would have rather a mirror in the eyeshadow palette and I could have like forgotten about the one in the blush but they do have them which is a nice touch and this is actually very very pretty I only used a tiny tiny bit again because they do look very very pigmented so I didn't want to like go in with have this big pink stripe but this is actually really beautiful and the glitter isn't super apparent like it gives a pretty sheen to the skin but it's not like chunky glitter on the cheeks it's more subtle and I think it looks really nice like it doesn't look like clown makeup I definitely think that I would wear this blush like a lot all right, now we'll go in on the other cheek with From the Moon. Again, this one looks a little more vibrant and is matte. Yeah, this one definitely, you only need a little bit. It is more vibrant. This is more of like those blue undertone pinks, but there is pigment. Like if you like pink blush, you're gonna like this one because you only need a tiny, tiny bit. Like I am literally, it's like nothing on the brush. So they definitely do have a much different color like when applied on the cheeks. I feel like next to each other, they don't look like all that much different, but they definitely do look different on the face. I do prefer this one, the one with a little bit of glitter, um, Cat's Eye, that's on this side. This is more of a color that I would wear every day. This one is a little too bold for me, but if you like bold blush, then you have this one. I'm gonna try and kind of like blend it so that they somewhat match. Like I'll put a little bit, I guess, of each blush on both sides so I just don't look like I'm wearing two different blushes. We have got some rosy cheeks today. Okay, now for the lippies. These are super cute. So again, they come in bundles. I don't know if you can get them separately. Let me double check for you guys. Okay, yeah, you can get them separately. So that's great. So you can buy each individual lip separately for $8 or you can get two of them in a bundle for $15. And the blushes are $12 each. Not sure if I said that. Okay, so we'll go in with the first bundle combination. This one is a Moonlight. So the Ultra Glossy Lip is Sailor Moon and then the Ultra Blotted Lip is Bunhead. So I'm gonna go in with the Ultra Blotted Lip first and I'll apply this to my lips. Ooh, I love it. A pretty a bright pink. This shade is really, really pretty. And their ultra blotted lip is supposed to be more like medium coverage. Like it's supposed to look like you put lipstick on and then blotted it. So they're a little bit more sheer coverage than a traditional like liquid lipstick would be. But I personally prefer this formula because it is a little bit lighter on the lips and then you can definitely wear a gloss over it. Where with some true liquid lipsticks, you can't really layer gloss over them or it's gonna get like all weird. But with these, it's no problem. So that's what Bunhead looks like on its own. Now I'll layer the Sailor Moon lip gloss over it. This looks like it has a little bit more of like an orangey undertone to it. And just go like so. This is really, really pretty. And sometimes with their lip glosses, like the applicator can feel like really hard at first. You just have to break it in, but it is like a brush applicator. But I love this combo. I think it looks really, really pretty. Okay, so the next bundle is the Daylight Bundle. So I'm gonna go in with the liquid lipstick first. And again, this is the same formula, the Ultra Blotted. This one is just a little bit lighter. Again, this one's Daylight. The other one was supposed to be Moonlight. So this is, I guess, supposed to be more geared toward the daytime, but still a really pretty pink. And then the gloss is Moon Tierra. So I'm gonna go in with this. Ooh, I like this one. I think this combo is my favorite. Really, really pretty. This gloss is beautiful. Super, super pretty, I'm obsessed. And then the last two things that they have in this collection are these Glitterly Obsessed, so they're body glitters. These, like, I'm not gonna get a ton of use out of them, to be completely honest. They're not my favorite product, but they are beautiful, and again, if you're going to like a festival or something, or like a special event, or if you just want some body glitter, these are so, so pretty, okay. So the pink one is Moonlight Legend. There's some on the cap, so I'm just gonna put it on my hand. Ooh, it smells really good. I really like the smell, it's like watermelony. Wow, this is really, really pretty. So these are just glitters, like there's a mix of both bigger glitter particles and then tinier glitter particles. The other one looks like there's more shapes, but this is actually really, really stunning. So maybe I retract my statement that I wouldn't get a ton of use out of these. Like obviously I'm not gonna be like putting this on my face and body every day, but it is really, really pretty and smells amazing and that's gonna make a statement okay and then the other body glitter is called moon prism power this one is more purpley and again this one looks like it has like stars and moons and stuff in it so it's pretty cool put this on my hand as well okay i'm gonna blend this one out yeah oh this one's so cute so if you want like the moon and the stars and stuff this one has it it's like more shapes instead of just like circular glitter and stuff 
and then obviously this one is like more purpley and the other one was more pink that is so pretty though it looks really really nice it's a very full coverage glitter too like it looks super super pretty so I'm actually pretty impressed like I didn't really think I was gonna care for them at all but I'm like okay these are actually pretty cool so those are actually super cute and the price on the glitters is nine dollars each but yeah that is everything you guys I hope you enjoyed today's video if you did please be sure to subscribe to my channel if you have not already thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you very soon in my next video bye